And welcome to another edition of Hunt Eats Community Kitchen. My name is Michael Cravens and my family and I just returned from a fantastic weekend of chasing wild rainbow trout in beautiful Lee's Ferry, Colorado River, Arizona. As you can see here, we brought a few trout home with us and we're going to use these trout to make a smoked trout and caper cream cheese toast. Now, in full disclosure, this recipe was the first one that popped up when I googled smoked trout appetizer. It was developed by a Tory Miller, so I encourage you to look that up and have a, have a look at that as well. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make our brine. You're going to need a non-reactive container. I'm using the inside of my slow cooker. Uh, the brine is very basic. It's really just a gallon of water to a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of kosher salt. I did throw in some garlic powder and a little bit of maple syrup just because I had it on hand. So you're going to want to submerge your trout into the brine. As you can see here, I did add some ice cubes just to cool things down, but you want them completely submerged, covered up. I'm going to put this in the fridge overnight. Anywhere from oh, four to eight hours should do it just fine. So next, we're going to rig our trout up for hanging in the smoker. Um, you can just lay these directly on the grate and that works perfectly well. Um, I think it looks cool to have them hung up in there um, and it's easy to do. So that's how I'm doing it. So basically what you do is take a, a length of twine, tie it into a loop. Then you're going to take and loop it over the trout's head and then bring it back up through the throat and out the mouth. And it gives you a nice nice hanger there to, to hang them up straight. All right, so here we are at our smoker. I'm using a propane smoker. Of course, any smoker will do. And as you can see, I use little paper clips for hooks uh, hanging from the top rack to hang these guys on. So just a super simple little trick for making hooks there. But uh, I'm also using apple, the wood, to smoke these on. Any of your fruit woods do really well with fish, but there you have it, all hung up and ready to go. So I smoke these guys at around, oh, between 170 and 190 degrees uh, for about three hours. I don't really have a specific time for you here. I just start checking them after a couple hours and when they get to a color I like and they look done, that's when they come off. I've done it several times like this and never had any trouble with them being under or overcooked. I think that brine really helps with the consistency. But they look good, so let's carry on. So here you can see the ingredients we're gonna be using to put these delicious things together. Uh, basically, we got some cream cheese, shallot, green onions, capers, lemon, salt and pepper, English muffins, butter, and of course a smoked trout. So first thing we're going to do is toast our English muffins. So split those in half and uh, put them under the broiler. This should only take a few minutes, so don't really walk away. Keep a close eye and leave that oven door ajar. So once your muffins are nice and toasted, we're going to remove those from the oven. But before they cool off, we're going to go ahead and spread some butter on them. Now, of course, this is probably an optional step, but this is a really rich dish anyway, so you might as well stick with that theme. Uh, besides, they're toasted English muffins, so why wouldn't you want to put butter on them? Now we'll move on to making our caper cream cheese. We're going to start with some green onion, save a little bit for a garnish later on as well. Then we're going to move on to our shell and dice that up. No need to save any here. At this point, you, you're going to want to put in as much as you like. It's pretty rich. Then our capers, Let's chop those up, add those, save a few whole capers for a garnish later as well. And now of course our lemon, I'm going to squeeze basically one whole lemon into this course watch out for seeds. Now we're just simply going to mix it all together. Um, this takes a little bit but it's worth doing a good job. Of course add some salt and pepper at this point as well. So from the cream cheese mixture to the smoked trout to the the buttered muffins everything about this dish is rich so save it for a special occasion you know for instance a successful fishing trip. 
So for our trout, uh, this is pretty simple. Basically, we're just going to remove the skin. It peels off pretty easy. Then that flesh should just flake off easily. Uh, so have a bowl set aside. You're going to pull this flesh off, place it in your bowl, but there are small pin bones. Uh, you're going to have to go through and, and dig out these pin bones. Now, most of them are so fine that, you know, you can chew them up and eat them. But, you know, if you see them, if you feel them in your mouth, they're not appetizing. And it takes a little work to get those out, uh, but it's worth it. Um, you're going to miss some, so just come to terms with it. It's not a big deal. Uh, just eat them. But do your best to get those out, and it's going to be a more pleasant experience for you. So all of our ingredients are prepped and ready so now the fun part we get to put these things together start with your muffin of course spread a little bit of your caper cream cheese mixture add your smoked trout then we're going to use some of our leftover chopped up green onions along with some whole capers as a nice garnish and uh, you know that'll be it uh, it's the perfect little appetizer or d'oeuvre um, lunch on a picnic. Um, it's a good meal to celebrate a successful fishing trip. So pour yourself a nice glass of a good buttery Chardonnay and enjoy. Oh, reel it in. Good job. Get it. Yes. Nice. He is wild. Get it, Nora. Nora, get it. <laughs> 